Welcome back grade 7 students to Music Quarter 1, Module 4, Music of Lowland of Luzon, Devotional Music and Brass Band. The fourth module in Music 7, Quarter 1, will guide you in understanding the Western influence in music of Lowlands of Luzon, which involves Western style and musical elements used in devotional music and brass band. Before accomplishing the activities, you need to review and enhance your knowledge about the elements of music. These elements will be used during listening activities and other activities which involves music analysis. You need to realize and appreciate the evolution of music of Lowlands of Luzon because of the Western influence. During the discussion and accomplishment of your activities, you have to discover also the similarities and differences between liturgical music and devotional music. Please accomplish all the activities, especially the listening activities to fully understand the lesson. For learning objectives in this module, learners will be able to identify the different musical elements incorporated in the Luzon Lowlands devotional music. Create an audio recording of a religious music in an activity in your local community and evaluate the performance applying knowledge of the musical elements. Deepen the understanding of the religious activity by distinguishing the musical elements used and provide rhythmic accompaniment to songs of different devotional activities of Luzon. Aside from Holy Mass and other Christian religious services, the Lowlands of Luzon have various Christian traditions which are used by different communities. These activities are believed to have a large impact in preserving our culture and faith. In fiestas, for example, people gather in one place to pay tribute to our patron saint through songs or music and dances. These simple activities are the highlights of the community's Thanksgiving celebration to the blessings they receive all throughout the year. For activity number one, examine the pictures below. Illustration A, Fiesta with Brass Band. Illustration B, Sagala Procession with a Brass Band. Illustration C, Procession of Saints with a Brass Band. And answer the questions that follow. Number 1. Have you experienced one of these in your community? Number 2. How often does this activity happen? Number 3. Do you think this activity also happens in other places? Thank you for your answers. Is it wonderful to experience one of those activities? Now, try to analyze the three illustrations and answer the diagram. Write the similarities in the center and their differences inside each circle. The first type of liturgical music the Filipinos learned from the Spaniards was the Holy Mass in Latin language. Gregorian chants and other sacred types of music were all sung in a dialect that natives cannot understand. That is why they decided to make extra liturgical celebration than in their homes or outside the Mass. This celebration contains rites and music that were suited to their culture. Songs were sung in Spanish and other dialects they fully understand. In the lowlands of Luzon, there are various religious beliefs that are experienced in almost every Christian community. The Pabasa or Pasyon, the Salubong, the Flores de Mayo, the Santa Cruzan, and the Pastores are just some of the many religious celebrations in the Philippines. These traditions are practiced mostly by Catholics and uses a mixture of Spanish and Filipino music. The Passion or Pabasa is a narrative of the Passion, Death, and Resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is written in stanzas of five lines following a strict number of syllables and rhymes. The whole text is sung throughout the Lenten season, although some musical elements vary in some provinces. After the Lenten season comes the Easter season. This tradition starts with Salubo. Here, a child dressed as an angel is lowered by ropes from a high platform to lift the mourning veil of the grieving mother while other children dress in an angel costume, sing the Regina Kaili Letere, meaning Queen of Heaven. Like the Passion, it's tuned indifferent in every province. Flores de Mayo or Flowers of May is a Catholic festival on the month of May. The song Alay is sung while the flowers are being offered to the image of Virgin Mary. It is held in the church or chapel. One of the most awaited and colorful religious celebration, not only in Luzon but also in other parts of the country, is the Santa Cruzan. It is a religious historical event 
that shows the finding of the Holy Cross by the Queen Elena and her son, Constantine the Great. Here, Sagalas and escorts show off their beautiful gowns as the marching band accompanies the procession with the music Justi Salve or Hail Mary. One of the popular celebrations in our country, Christmas, has also its own share of localized religious activity. Bicolandias Pastores, a Spanish-introduced tradition in the late 1800s until now, plays a major part in the Yuletide celebration in the Bicol region. This tradition is about the shepherds celebrating the birth of Christ through singing and dancing. Musical groups composed mostly of children and youth perform the song Pastores Abilen, accompanied by string and percussion instruments, from house to house from their colorful costumes and decorative arcos, just like the popular caroling done everywhere during the Christmas season. The homeowners give money in return for the joyful musical performance rendered. Although most of the religious sites were Western influence or Spanish influence, some have a fusion of indigenous Filipino musical forms and Western Christian practices. Our country is also rich with different genres of instrumental music. And during religious festivities, one musical group still plays an important role, the brass band. A fiesta is not a fiesta without the music of the brass band or the marching band. Its music brings a joyful mood to everyone who hears it. And even processions at night, a brass band accompanies the people who show their devotion to a saint. But what is a brass band? What are the instruments? In the Philippines, this music group became popular during the 20th century, although there were some accounts by historians that during the Spanish time, the brass band music is already heard. A brass band is a music ensemble composed of woodwind, brass wind, and percussion instruments. Usually, this group plays folk songs, marches, processional music, and pop songs. Brass wind instruments are instruments made of brass or metal. A player produces sounds by bassing the lips into the metal mouthpiece. Although, the early types of these instruments are made of wood, shells, or tusk, today's modern instrument is made entirely of brass. Long pipes have been carved and twisted to produce the desired sound quality and for easier playing. Some of the popular brass wind instruments that are present in the Philippines marching bands are the following. Trumpet The trumpet is the smallest instrument in the brass family. It usually plays the melody of the music because of its bright and vibrant sound. Originally, the main function of this instrument is to gather people, sound for alarm, and call to war. Trombone The trombone is the only instrument in the brass family that uses a slide to change pitch. You play the trombone by holding it horizontally, passing into the mouthpiece, and using the right hand to change pitch by pushing or pulling the slide to one of seven different positions. French horn It comes from the French hunting horn of the 1600s and produces a wide variety of sound ranging from very loud to very soft and from harsh and blaring to mellow and smooth. The French horn's 18 feet of tubing is rolled up into a circular shape with a large bell at its end. To play the French horn, hold it with the bell curving downward and buzz into the mouthpiece. The sousaphone. This instrument is known as the bass. The bell is above the player's head and projecting forward. A woodwind instrument is a musical instrument which produces sound when the player blows air against a sharp edge or through a reed, usually made of bamboo. Most of these instruments are made of wood but can be made of other materials, such as metals or plastic. Woodwinds can be further divided into two groups, the flutes and the reeds. The flute. The flute is an aerophone, wind instrument that produces its sounds from flow of air across an opening. The sound it produces is thin and timbre. Piccolo flute. This instrument is smaller than the flute and has a thinner sound. The clarinet. This instrument is a straight cylindrical tube with cylindrical bore and flared bell. It has a single reed mouthpiece. The saxophone. Commonly used in concert bands, military bands, marching bands, and jazz bands. The tenor saxophone is medium-sized member of the saxophone family. 
It uses a large mouthpiece, reed, and ligature. It is easily distinguished by the bend in its neck near the mouthpiece. For activity number 2, Pitch Perfect, based on the sound samples provided, rate the following instruments. Piccolo flute, flute, clarinet, alto saxophone, tenor saxophone, trumpet, trombone, french horn, and saxophone according to pitch range. 5 is the highest and 1 is the lowest. And the tone quality, 5 is the thickest and 1 is the thinnest. Color the boxes which corresponds to your choice. And 4 percussion family of brass bands. Traditional Philippine brass bands only have these major percussion instruments. The snare drum, the bass drum, and the cymbals. The snare drum is also known as the side drum. It is known for its cylindrical shape and a powerful staccato sound. This instrument is often used in orchestras, concert bands, and marching bands. It is played with drumstick or brush. The bass drum. The bass drum produces a low pitch and serves as the rhythmic guide of the ensemble. The cymbals. The cymbals consist of thin, normally round plates of various alloys. The heavier the cymbals, the louder the volume. Now, let's put your knowledge into action. For your activity number 3, open the YouTube links below for Pasyon, Salubong, Flores de Mayo, Santa Cruzan, and Pastores. Using the first set of audio samples in each religious celebration, analyze each music by completing the elements of music, melody, pitch, timbre, rhythm, texture in the table below. Describe and explain how the elements were used. And answer the following questions. Number 1. What can you say about the manner of playing the music or singing of each religious accompaniment? Number 2. How about the tune? Is it easy to remember? And for your assessment, identify what religious music is being described. Write your answer in the blank provided before each number. Well done! This means that you can now move on to your next module, Music Quarter 1, Module 5, Secular Music, Passion for Harana and Balitaw. Again, Finish all your activities in Activity Sheet Music Week 3, Module 3, and Module 4 in Google Classroom. Read the directions carefully and do not forget to click Turn In once you're done. Thank you and happy learning!